Good morning. Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube. Uh, let's try this again. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle, and if you're new here, I sell stuff online. Um, vintage and some regular modern day stuff. Um, I'm on Poshmark and Mercari and a lot of other places and you can see all of my links down below and so while I'm at it give me a thumbs up and subscribe while you're here and if you like thrifting and reselling content um, right now I am in the parking lot of a sample sale and the sample sale is for Ace and Jig. Now I don't know if I've talked about it here on my channel before but this one ace and jig dress has haunted me from the first day that I found it. I left it at the thrift store back in June of 2018 or something like that. I'll put a picture here of the day with the time and everything. I wasn't sure if it was something that I should pick up for the price and I wasn't familiar with the brand. So I just took a picture of the tag and I was like, okay, I'll go home and I'll look it up. And lo and behold it was amazing and the resale on ace and jig is awesome as well as the aesthetic is just great for you know yourself i don't know i love it but anyway the point being it's haunted me ever since and so today i'm gonna try to see if i can find some stuff to resell and if not uh, i'll just have the experience of being around all of this beautiful clothes and seeing uh, some of the other shops that are at the sample sale so we are in philly that's where the sale is happening and um, it's kind of like a pop-up situation. It just happens once and then you kind of have to be on the lookout for other sample sales. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll see how it goes. I'll let you know what the pricing is like. I know one of the shops that's in this area, Shop Vestige, they have a five, 10 and $15 bin, but I don't know what they're going to be putting in those bins. So anyway, I'm just gonna walk right in and I don't know what the filming situation is gonna be like. So hopefully I can get some good content clips for you. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. The amount of money I just spent on this little ass bag is so embarrassing. As I just mentioned, the amount of money I just spent is quite terrifying to be honest. But um, you know, it was okay. I couldn't really film because it was super crowded, like crowded to the max. Um, and I only really got a couple of clips like right at the end, but then it was like a little awkward because all of the little shop owners were like looking in my direction. And I guess it doesn't really matter, but I do get a little bit self-conscious filming in public places still um i'm back in the car obviously i'm really really warm because it's like supposed to be a high of 60 and i'm wearing a sweater and then i had a suede jacket it was just a lot i got two vintage coveralls so that's like army type one um coveralls that i'll show maybe hopefully later i'll maybe let's let's see if i can pull them out now no it's too hard um and then i got two vintage tees the ace and jig stuff though was like starting at like 60 something i don't know i put it i took a quick clip of the prices and i'll try to show that somewhere over here it was just much so i couldn't get anything there but it was a good experience just to get a feel of the place it was very curated so it's a, it, i don't know it just felt like um it felt like shopping at a regular store except the fitting room was just like jam-packed with women um and so it was like a communal fitting room also there were maybe five stores in total plus um yeah it was print fresh d low which was selling candles i bought a couple candles um also shop vestige ace and jig and then volition yeah it was a little bit overwhelming i guess when i walked in but um once i like found a corner of like items that i thought were going to be affordable enough for me to whether it's to resell or for myself i was like okay i'm gonna stick in this corner anyway i'm gonna head to a bulk vintage place now because it is a public weekend and this bulk vintage place is only open to wholesalers um, and professionals industry professionals so you normally have to spend a minimum of a hundred dollars but this weekend only they're allowing the public to um to go in and shop i figured i'll just check it out and see how it goes and see how it is my phone is on like one percent 
So anyway, I've spent three minutes in the car talking to you. I think I'm just gonna start driving. We're at the bulk vintage spot now, and so uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. They've got cats, which I think is really cute. Success! I just left the bulk vintage warehouse. I'm actually still sitting in my car and my eyeliner and my mascara like down on my face here. Ooh. Um, so I, she very politely, when she was ringing me out, was telling her about that I resell and today was just a public weekend but generally you can only come if um, if you have a resale business and you have to spend a minimum of a hundred dollars so then you would have access to the entire warehouse this time around there was a section that was blocked off and I kept trying to get um, videos without people in them because I don't want to just record like random strangers and put them on the internet but also at the same time I was like trying to give you guys a good idea of what I was um, what I was doing so anyway I started through I spent a little over a hundred dollars which was I think great for the bag that I got some of the stuff was a little too high to resell right now but I definitely am going to do a uh, going to go come to the fill a bag sale when they have it so um, yeah I'm looking forward to that and this was a great great sourcing day I guess so far and I'm really excited a lot most of I think all of this stuff is gonna go towards the uh, Lee and low drop so I'm not going to give any sneak peeks but um, by the time this video is out it will already have probably been listed over on Lee and low goods on Instagram so go check that out I'm gonna gonna head home now and I think I think I'll end it here I hope this was helpful this is my bag of goodies and um, yeah come check out bulk vintage and the fishtown flea when you're around um, if you're never around then I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.